fighting boils and ghouls is I, the Crypt Keeper. You know, the old host from Tales from the Crypt. Okay, not really. It's Dave. But, I know, I know. The actual skin complexion and you know, muscles probably give it away. That and I'm not doing a really good imitation of John Cassier. I get it. But, hey. Guys, got a huge question to ask. Got a big, big favor to ask all of you. Now, in case you guys haven't heard, Tales from the Crypt is actually coming back to TV. This time, it's actually going to be brought back instead of on HBO. Uh, it, the Turner Network is actually going to do it. So TNT, TBS, they're going to be bringing back Tales from the Crypt. What's more, they're looking for some fresh new talent to try to take and find stories that could speak to this generation of uh, horror fans. Well, they've teamed up with a website called Wattpad. They're looking for people that write horror, creepypastas, fan fiction, things like that, and looking for potential new story ideas. That's the reason why I'm doing the red and black rings today. It seems kind of fitting. So, I need your help because I am writing a horror story that I'm trying to get made into Tales from the Crypt. The story is currently uh, called Terror and Thunder, A Tale from the Crypt. Uh, right now I only have one chapter up, uh, The Hated Prey, but I'm going to have more chapters coming up soon. Basically the plot is something like this. A uh, reporter is on the trail of what appears to be a creature that uses both wrath and the forces of nature to lash out and leaves a, bl you know, a bloody trail of corpses in his wake for whatever reason. As they try to investigate to find out more about what's going on, is she and the world ready for the truth if they actually confront and find the origins of this creature? Now, some of you might remember a story I did last year called The Stand Before the Storm. Well, I'm taking the monster that I had in that story, a Lovecraft-style story, and I'm doing it in something a little more contemporary. So, nothing to knock Lovecraft, but I remember growing up reading uh, horror comics. Uh, House of Mystery, uh, House of Secrets, uh, Tales of Terror, things like that. And I remember watching Tales from the Crypt. It was really fun, really enjoyable stuff back in the day. So, I'm trying to do something along those lines. And I'm trying to find a, a, a way of trying to be not so descriptive is to take everything away from it but not too simplified to not be you know able to be enjoyed so i'm trying my best here to create my own monster my own thing that i'm trying to put out there in the world I'm trying to make my guy the storm chaser happen so i need your help check out down below in the video description you can find a link to my wattpad page and the story itself to uh, check it out. Please check back often. I'm going to try to update it as much as I can when I can, so keep an eye out for new chapters coming. Now, it's going to be plenty of weird stuff. I mean, there is going to be... This is not R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. This is Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. This is The Devil's Rejects. This is classic horror and gore, but it's also got some rip from the headlines things that I'm throwing in there as inspiration. It's going to be graphic, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be controversial, it's going to tick some people off, and it's also got one chapter that's going to have a brutal sexual assault in it. Yeah, the R word. So, I'm not giving that away, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up. If any of this stuff might be too mature for you, don't check it out. But, for those of you that are willing to take a shot, are willing to see what I'm capable of doing besides just talking about comic book stuff and comedy, then please check out my story, Terror and Thunder, A Tale from the Crypt. Please check it out, cast your vote on it, see if it's something you actually like, tell your friends about it. If they want to see something a little bit different, hopefully this is going to be right up there with you. So, I really appreciate all of you. So thank you so much in advance, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. So, please keep on voting for my story. I'm just dying to hear from you.